So Logitech have just released the MX Creative Console and it consists of the MX Creative Keypad as well as the MX Creative Dial Pad. And I've had access to this for a couple of months now and I've got to say, if you're a creator, you're going to absolutely love these because it's been designed to streamline your entire workflow. Now, a few talking points, the MX Creative Keypad has nine customizable full color LCD keys and two paging buttons so you can create additional pages for all of your shortcuts. And the MX Creative Dial Pad, of course, has its main dial right here, as well as a roller, and then four customizable buttons that you can assign it to do pretty much whatever you want. Now, a cool thing that you might have noticed at the start of the box is that you can see that there's a bunch of Adobe apps, and that's because Logitech have partnered up with Adobe, which basically means as soon as you plug this device in, it's gonna connect to your Creative Cloud, and then you're gonna have presets ready to use for all of your favorite editing apps. Now currently there's pre-built profiles with Premiere Pro, After Effects, Lightroom Classic, Adobe Audition, as well as Illustrator and Photoshop. And there's also plugins made for all of the apps over here, but worried not if you don't see an app that you're using, it will probably be available inside of the marketplace at launch, but if it's not, you can also create your own profiles for whatever apps you wanna use it for. But let's actually go ahead and jump into the MX Creative Console and see what it can do. So if we go ahead and click on this button, you'll see it opens up the Logi Options Plus app, and here you can configure your Creative Console. Now you'll notice that you'll be able to customize the Creative Keypad as well as the Creative Dial Pad, but you'll also see there's an additional button, and this is for the Action Rings, which is part of the Dial Pad, which is basically an interface built into the software so you can have access to even more tools. So if we click here, you'll see I'm greeted with the first page. So I basically assigned this to open up a bunch of apps that I use on a regular basis. So for example, if I click on Notion right here, you'll see it brings that up straight away. Same thing if I put Chrome, you'll then see that Chrome is now opened up and vice versa. So you can basically assign this to do whatever you want. And one cool one that I've assigned is basically desktop. And that basically hides all the apps on my desktop, which is really cool. And then of course you can go on the different pages. So I've actually assigned this for content creation. So if I'm making videos on my TikTok, I'll click on Seb main. If I'm making videos on my Seb Intel channel, it'll then open up that folder. Same thing with YouTube, it'll open up that folder. And it's really cool. So it's basically just streamlining my whole process when it comes to opening apps. I don't have to type in anymore or find the app icon. It's just such a lifesaver. And you also notice at the top here, you see I've got different profiles. So these already come pre-calibrated inside of the software. So because they partnered with Adobe, you'll have a bunch of apps that you can just integrate seamlessly. So here you can see I've customized it to how I edit, which is really nice. And you can also see it's done it with After Effects and Photoshop. So you don't have to spend time creating your own presets because it already comes like this. But of course, you wanna design it the way that you work. So I've designed it the way that I've worked. And if you wanna create a new app, you can just click on application and profile. For example, if I wanted to add audition, I can click here and then click on the audition advance. And as you can see, it's already pre-filled this with a bunch of different presets for audition. So it basically means that I don't have to waste time creating my own profiles. And when it comes to actually customizing the keypad, it's really simple. You can basically just type in what you want, or you can go to this section, for example, and then you can just drag it in like that, and then it's automatically updated that to your keypad. Now, of course, the next highlight of the MX Creative Console is the dial pad right here. So again, it will have different profiles depending on the apps that you're using. You'll have a general tab and then for example if you're editing on premiere pro you'll then see that it's already customized that and pre-filled that with essential items that i'm going to be using so for example here i've got start playback these are the action rings is something i'm going to show you in just a minute we've got undo redo i love this and then the zoom timeline as well as contextual timeline so this is basically scrolling left to right such a lifesaver i love it so much now quickly i did mention the action rings so essentially these are basically presets that you can modify and have quick actions with. So this is currently set to color grading. So I basically just click on the actions ring button and it will create a virtual sort of dial pad for me that I can just use this dial for and then I'll be able to adjust the temperature. But again, I'll show you that in the actual demo when we jump inside of Premiere Pro. But that's a quick overview of what the MX Creative Console can do. And of course, one of my favorite things about this being a Logitech product is that it integrates seamlessly with all my other Logitech devices. So I've got the MX Brio webcam, MX Master 3S mouse, and MX Keys S keyboard. And basically just means that everything works so smoothly and it's all inside of one app so I can configure everything in one place. 
But of course, let's go ahead and jump inside of Premiere Pro and then I'm gonna show you how I actually use this inside of my workflow and how it speeds up my editing process so much. So as you can see, we're now inside of Premiere Pro and right off the bat, I wanna show you something that stood out to me straight away and that's using the dial pad. So if we use the main dial here, you can see that I can actually start scrubbing through my timeline, which is really cool. I can also use the roller to zoom in and out. And then if I press this button, it's actually gonna start playing back my video. Now I also have the action rings assigned to here and essentially that basically means that I can color grade my videos. So if I click on my adjustment layer, go on the action ring and then hover over the temperature for example, I could then use the roller right here and you can see that it's now changing my temperature. Now if we actually go to the Lumetri panel, clicking on the keypad, you can see that it quickly opens it up right inside of Premiere Pro. I don't need to use my mouse, it's got it there. And again, if we go back on the action rings and then change the exposure, you can see that it's happening in live action right here. And I can actually really just like fine tune it how I want. And then again, if I wanna change the highlights, once again, I can go ahead and do that right off the bat. Next up, we have the keypad. Now I've assigned this for my workflow. Basically, whenever I'm doing stuff, I just want them to be done quickly. So one thing all editors probably like doing is marking their in and out points. So I can mark my in point here, and then for example, if I wanted to mark my out point, I could mark it right there, which is really awesome. And then I can click on go to in point. If I quickly want to preview the start of my section, I can then go ahead and press play on the dial pad, which is really awesome. I also have other stuff like quick action. So if I quickly want to go to my effects control, for example, if I have this clip selected, go on that and you can see that it's highlighted that and opened it up. So if this was actually hidden, for example, so if we had the Lumetri color here, click on the effects, you can see that it now opens up the effects control. Same thing with Lumetri, as well as essential sounds and essential graphics, basically meaning that I don't have to go ahead into the software and find the tool that I'm using. I've got it pre-assigned here, which is really awesome. And of course you can customize this to have you want. So for example, one of my workflows is because I have a team of editors, I might quickly jump into Premiere Pro and sort out the files for myself, and then I can upload it for him to edit. So I can basically click on remove unused, as well as consolidate duplicates and that's basically going to remove all the clips I haven't used in my timeline. I can then click on project manager and then I can export this project with all the files in literally just three steps or three clicks. It's so easy and it saves so much more time. Some other cool features that I like to have on my keypad is full screen mode. So if I click that it makes my video full screen and then I can click on playback and then I can watch it in big just to make sure that everything looks great and how I want it to look. And then of course I can exit full screen in just one click. I can click on audio to save as well as export. And basically, I keep saying this, but it just streamlines my workflow because I just have to click on the buttons that I know that I've already pre-assigned to the keypad and saves me so much more time. But there you go, that's a demo on the MX Creative Console. I've literally found it so useful after using it for the last two months and it really has sped up my workflow. And you can customize it to however you want. And of course, if you don't want to fiddle with it too much, they already have predefined presets for certain apps and more will become available inside the marketplace on launch. And if you did find this interesting and want to grab one for yourself, you can grab it in pale gray and in graphite. And pre-orders start on the 24th of September and are available on the 14th of October. And one thing to note is if you order the MX Creative Console, it also comes with three months of Adobe Creative Cloud for completely free. Even if you are an existing user or you're a completely new user, it just adds that onto your plan. So it's basically a no-brainer because you're one, saving time, editing your content because this literally speeds it up so much and you're also getting creative cloud for free for free extra months so it's a great deal but i hope you did enjoy this video and if you did smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video